What is going on, Odooers? It's good to see you. With Odoo Contacts, you can quickly add, organize, and manage all of your contacts information in one single place. Each contact record stores everything from basic details, such as names and phone numbers, to even more advanced data, including accounting and billing information. Best of all, contact data for both customers and vendors is fully integrated across all Odoo apps. That means you can access and update your contacts from anywhere within Odoo. Let's take a look at how that works. From the main dashboard, we're going to start by opening up the Contacts application. And when we first enter the Contacts app, we're greeted with this list view. This view is the most information-dense option. It displays everything from the contact's name, email address, phone number, which country they're in, as well as any activities linked to their contact. It's important to note that these columns are also fully customizable. If we click on this additional details button here in the top right corner, we're going to be able to add or remove any informational columns to this list view. We're also not limited to the list view. Odoo offers several different views to fit your preferences. If you're more of a visual type of person, we also have the Kanban view. It contains the same information as the list view, but it's presented in a more visual format and it even shows the contact picture if there's one available. We also have a map view, and this displays where all your contacts are located, and we also have an activity view, which gives you a breakdown of any upcoming activities for your contacts in your database. All of these views are useful depending on the task or situation, but for now, let's hop back into our list view. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at a contact. From here, I can either select any contact and edit their information, and let's go ahead and jump into Azure Interior. So above the name, we have the option to differentiate whether this is a company or a person. In this case, Azure Interior is a company, so we're going to leave this selected. We can also add any key details such as the address of the company, tax IDs, website, any relevant tags, and of course the basic phone number and email address. And towards the bottom we have several tabs where we can add even more information and we're going to start off with our contacts tab here. Here I can add contacts that are associated with this company as well as any relevant addresses. For example, if I have a specific contact person, I could add their information here. When I click Add Contact, a Create Contact pop-up appears. From here, I can specify whether this is a contact, an invoice address, a delivery address, or other. Below that, I can fill in the contact name, email, phone number, job title, and of course, any internal notes. So let's go ahead and create a contact, and this contact is going to be for Dennis Cruise. And we're also going to enter his email, which is just dennis at azure.com. And then we could also add his job position, which is the owner of Azure Interior. And if needed, I can also add an internal note. And to do that, I just need to click into the internal notes field and type anything I'd like. And let's go ahead and add amazing customer. Very nice. And then we can click Save and Close. Next, we're going to move into the Sales and Purchase tab. Now, this tab only appears when we have the Sales, Purchase, or Point of Sale applications installed. Here, I can assign a specific salesperson in the Sales section. And to do that, I just need to click into the Salesperson drop-down field, and I'm going to add Jose. I can also set payment terms for Azure Interior, so let's go ahead and select the drop-down menu. And currently, it's set to end of month, but we're going to change this to immediate payment. Now, if we scroll slightly down towards the bottom, we have a miscellaneous tab. And here, I can configure the company ID, any references, websites, or even the industry. And if we go back up, we have our purchase section. And if I purchase products from this company, I can assign one of our users as a buyer. And I can also specify payment terms right here, payment method, and any other information of that type. I can also set receipt reminders right here. Next, we're going to scroll back up and head to our accounting tab. And here I can add any relevant bank accounts or set default accounting journals. 
Finally, if I click into the internal notes tab, this is where I can leave any notes on this contact form, just like what we did earlier for Dennis Cruz. And if we scroll to the top, we can see we have additional options here called smart buttons. These buttons show relevant records to this contact that were created in other Odoo applications. As you can imagine, Odoo integrates data across every single app in your database. If the corresponding applications are installed, their relevant smart buttons will automatically appear. For example, we can see any CRM opportunities, sales, any meetings that are associated with this contact, all of the respective smart buttons will appear up here. Other items such as deliveries, documents, loyalty cards, and direct debits will also appear as smart buttons if there are any records on file that fit this contact. Now, if I decide that I no longer want this contact to remain active, I can simply archive this record. To do that, all I have to do is click the gear icon in the top left corner, click archive, and then we'll have a confirmation window pop up, and all we have to do is click archive once again. And once this is archived, we have an archived banner that appears to indicate that this contact is now inactive. They'll no longer appear on the main contacts page, but we can always find them using an archived filter. And if we ever decide that we want to work with them again, we can simply unarchive the contact just as easily. All we have to do is click back into that gear icon and then click, you guessed it, unarchived. So as soon as I do, that banner disappears and everything is back to normal. Now we're going to go back to the main contacts page using the breadcrumbs right here. And let's go ahead and choose an individual contact, for example, Brandon Freeman. So right away, we're going to notice that Brandon's contact page shows he's a person rather than a company. And you'll also notice a few additional fields that aren't visible when a company is selected. For example, I can add a company name to this contact by clicking this drop down right here, and this will provide us with a full list of all of the companies in our database that we can choose from. I can see that Brandon is already associated with Azure Interior, so we're going to leave that as is. Aside from that, we still have very similar fields as before where we can add Brandon's phone number, his email, address, website, and any relevant tags. Additionally, I can also add his job position right here, and it's listed that he is the creative director of Azure Interior. We'll also notice that Brandon's company, Azure Interior, has this small arrow right next to that field. And if we hover over it, we can see that this is an internal link. And when we click that internal link button, we're taken to Azure Interior's contact page. And then here under the contacts tab, we can see that Brandon is listed right alongside with Dennis Cruz, the contact that we created earlier. Talk about staying connected, am I right? Now, before we wrap up, let's take a quick look at how we handle duplicate contacts. Now, of course, we could simply delete one of the records, but what if both records have important information? In Odoo, we can merge multiple records into a single record. That way, the duplicates are removed and no data is lost. For example, we're going to go ahead and search Ernest Reed. And right off the bat, we're going to see that there are two records for the same person. So to merge them, all I have to do is select both of them and then click Actions at the top. And then when this dropdown appears, we're just going to select this Merge function. A Merge pop-up window will appear showing both records. So all we need to do is confirm that these are indeed the records that we want to merge and then click Merge Contacts. And just like that, the two contact records are now combined and we've cleared up those two duplicates in our contacts app. And that wraps up this tutorial. Today we saw how the contacts application plays a key role in managing information for the companies and customers that you work with across your entire database. This vital data connects seamlessly with nearly every other Odoo app, and thanks to Odoo's fully integrated design, it's always easy to access and keep up to date. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out our other videos in our e-learning series to discover even more great Odoo features.